Hi everyone, Robin from Backscatter here with our first hands-on look at the brand new GoPro Hero 5. There's a lot of hype surrounding this little camera and we're really excited to begin shipping them this week. The Hero 5 packs in some killer new features like being natively waterproof to 30 feet, incorporating an LCD touchscreen, new button layout, voice control, and more. Plus, it's even more affordable than the Hero 4 Black. Our first impressions of the camera are all positive. It does feel a little bit more substantial and heavy duty than the Hero cameras before it. There's definitely more of an underwater camera vibe than any previous GoPro. The battery and cable hatches are a little more difficult to open, but this minor detail is overshadowed by the awesomeness of their waterproof integrity down to 30 feet. It's got a new battery design, so keep in mind that your previous camera batteries will not be cross compatible. The buttons and touchscreen definitely feel like an improvement to us. Having less buttons on the camera keeps the operation super simple and less confusing. When the camera's off, you can press the video record button and it'll power right up and start recording video within about two seconds, so you're always ready for action. The mode button here on the side is how you control the power on and off and cycle through the multiple shooting modes. All the other controls and selections are accessed through the touchscreen. In our experience, we've gotten better response out of the touchscreen using just a gentle slide and tap. You really don't have to hammer on it too hard. You can also lock the touchscreen to prevent accidental activation. The new linear shooting mode offers a rectilinear lens mode popular for topside shooting. This new mode seems to turn the medium shooting mode into that rectilinear style. Now you can't shoot 4K in rectilinear, but 2.7K and lower is compatible. There's also a few things to consider when it comes to the underwater housing specifics. The protective lens on the camera must be removed before installing it in the housing. It's a little tricky the first couple of times, but you do it by pulling on the front of the lens and then rotating it. This gets significantly easier after those first few times. And when the camera is installed in the super suit housing, you lose the touchscreen control, but you still get the mode button to cycle through your predefined shooting modes. Our flip filter system will continue to grow and meet the needs of the Hero 5 with the new Flip 5 series. Flip 5 will be fully compatible with GoPro Hero 3, 3 Plus, 4, and 5 using a set of simple adapters. All of our Flip 4 accessories, such as color correction filters and Macromate mini lens, will be compatible with the Flip 5. We'll keep you posted as more information becomes available, and stay tuned for all the latest underwater news on the GoPro Hero 5 from Backscatter.